hi everyone and very warm welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how you can do in painting with the help of stable diffusion models locally in a very very easy way if you want to put the sunglasses on any image or if you want to fix defects or any disfiguration in any image you use in painting in painting is a method of painting over an image and regenerating the painted or masked area guided by the prompt you enter so what happens is that for example you have an image you want to change the color of eyes you will just create a mask on those eyes and then with the help of in painting you would change the color of those eyes this is what in painting is Normally, if you're trying to do these sort of modifications, changes to the images by using the other tools like um, Adobe Photoshop or something like that, that is quite a cumbersome process and you have to be an expert in that tool in order to do so. But with the help of this automatic 1111 tool or similar tools, you can explore and leverage the magic of stable diffusion models to do this in painting very easily. In Stable Diffusion Web UI or Automatic 1111, which is the tool we are going to use uh, to do the in painting, it is very easy to do so. It is very similar to image to image technique where random noise is added to the entire image and is generated with a prompt. In the in painting, we just add the noise to the masked area which we want to paint over. So we can simply manipulate a specific area of an image by creating a mask and changing it with the prompt. It is easier um, done than said so and I will be showing it to you shortly. If you don't know what automatic 1111 is or how to install it and use it, please search my channel. I have done an extremely easy to follow <clears throat> video as how you can install automatic 1111 and you should be able to install it quite easily. And as you can see here, this is my automatic 1111 which is running locally on my this system and for this system i am very thankful to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus you can even win free gpu credits from their website if you just take part in this hacktober 2024 where i will be the judge and you can submit your text and image entries generated by llm to stand a chance to win this hundred dollars in free gpu credit okay so let's go back to stable diffusion and let's see how can we do the in painting with the help of automatic 1111 on any image locally privately and freely there are various models which are available for in painting there is dream shaper there's clarity there is realistic vision and the list goes on and on if you go to hugging face or go to this cv tie uh, you will see that there are hundreds of models there so i'm going to go with this clarity model and i will drop the link to it in video description sign in with your email for free account and then simply click on downloads and then it is going to start downloading it on your local system the size is around 4 gig so make sure that you have that much space on your local system so let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will proceed further and the download is complete as you can see just click on show in the folder or click here and you will see that we have our saved answers for clarity simply select it Control C or Control X from here and then go to where you have installed your stable diffusion web UI. So I have installed it here and from here go to uh, checkpoints folder. You should have <clears throat> your models folder here or checkpoints folder here. So let's go to the models folder and then you see that there are a lot of uh, folders already present in this directory. So we are just going to put our checkpoint or safe tensor in this stable diffusion folder where we already have that default uh, model which comes installed with this stable diffusion web UI or auto automatic 1111 so I have just pasted our clarity version 3 here so let's go back to our browser and from here just go where your stable diffusion is click on refresh on this blue button 
and then when you click on drop down you will see now clarity is visible so just select it it is going to load it onto your gpu so let's wait for it to get loaded and the model is loaded next up click on this image to image tab and then from here if you just scroll down a bit you will see there are a lot of options here and for resizing in painting and all that stuff you can click on in paint here so i have selected the in paint and then if you go at top you can also select it here and then select your image from the in paint i'm just going to select uh, from a local directory one of my own images so i'm just going to select my own face here okay so this it says start drawing and once you hover over it you will see that this is a uh, paintbrush one which you can i believe also if you click here you can also change the its size so i'm just going to use it this one maybe i'll just draw it on my eyes here so let me draw it maybe i'll just go here okay so i think that's pretty much it maybe i'll just also use it here okay that is cool so this is a masked area now let's give our prompt let's scroll up a little in the prompt just maybe type black sunglasses stylish i think that's enough a negative prompt you can say something like ugly which you don't want to happen in your image blurry and then deformed and let's click on generate here it is generating <laughs> there you go so you see i have now sunglasses and it, these are the black ones you can of course change it like you can change it to uh, something like blue and then click on generate and you see the speed how quick the inference is not sure if it is blue or not but something like bluish and of course you can change it a lot if you scroll down you will see that there are a lot of options there for example you can see that you have this mask blur this is a blur value of the masked area before in painting and normally just keep it to the four don't change it then the mask mode in painted mask or in painted not masked so this option primarily defines what part of the image is going to be changed when input uh, in paint mask is selected the area that you put the mask on will be modified but if you select in paint not masked change that changes the area that's not masked okay so that is another option for example if you change want to change a large huge portion of the image maybe you can just uh, mark the area after selecting this that which you don't want to change and then we have a lot of other stuff mask uh, content this uh, primarily says whether you want to change the mask area before in printing and normally original is fine with it i just keep it to original and then in print area is um, enables you to decide whether you want the in printing to use the entire image or just use the mask area i just keep it as is to be honest all of these sampling method i just go with this dpmm2++ which is quite good there are various other i have seen some people using this euler too but all of them are good mainly i go with this dpmm uh, 2 plus plus which primarily samples and generates image and then there are few other areas like oh there is a padding stuff which you can change over here so 32 pixel is fine because if you increase it too much then it's not you know it just gives you a very bad result and then there are a lot of other things like denoising and height and width of the image if you can change it as per your choice if you like so uh, this is how you can do the in painting and there are a lot of other things which you can do it so much fun it could be addictive i'm telling you so for example this is my image and um, you can just say uh, maybe i'll just go up and maybe i'll let me maybe i'll just say uh, without any mask you can just say smiling let's generate let's see what it does and 
now you see it is now smiling you see it has changed the image totally uh, because i have put removed that <clears throat> um, prompt so it has just removed the sunglasses and also the smiling one you can put the sunglasses sunglasses and then there you go you can just say pirate patch let's see so there is no patch this time maybe i'll just remove okay because you know what because i have not created this properly so maybe i'll just click on this delete button here and then draw maybe on one eye this eye let's draw this so i'm just you know doing it in real time along with you so don't please judge me for my these skills so i'll just say pirate patch and one thing is that you don't have to write novel and war and peace here to for your prompts keep them short simple and that should do it okay so it is not drawing the pi pirate patch here maybe i just need to play around with my prompt bit more okay anyway so there are a lot of other things which you can do so i played around with the prompt and you can see now it has added the patch on my right eye so you just said refine the image by adding a black pirate eye patch cover the whole eye with a patch and then so on and so forth of course you can improve it as you like and another tip is that you can use another model to generate this prompt you don't have to write them by yourselves and then in another in another example in this image i have just masked the tongue of this komodo dragon and then i have just given it to replace this tongue with this fire and you can see that we have some semblance of flame coming out of the mouth so of course um, just use the image properly should be uh, of good quality and then change whatever you like with the help of this in painting feature so i hope that was fun let me know what you think about it also towards the end i would like to introduce you to our sponsors of this video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extract extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching